In an effort to pursue modernization and enhance its maritime capabilities, the Philippines is currently considering the acquisition of a five-year-old littoral combat ship, USS Sioux City, LCS-11, recently decommissioned by the United States Navy. The decision to investigate this potential acquisition comes as the Philippines faces increasing pressure from China's military aggression in its surrounding region. With a limited budget, the Philippines is seeking smart solutions to bolster its maritime capabilities, and USS Sioux City presents an intriguing opportunity. USS Sioux City, officially decommissioned after less than five years in active service, could prove to be a valuable asset for the Philippines. The Freedom Variant LCS, built by Fincantieri Marinette Marine in Marinette, Wisconsin, was commissioned on November 17, 2018, at the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis. Since its commissioning, USS Sioux City has completed four successful deployments, including counter-drug trafficking operations with the U.S. Coast Guard. Notably, it is the first U.S. Navy warship to operate in the 5th and 6th fleets across the Atlantic. This option echoes the success the Philippines had in acquiring the former USS Cyclone, PC-1, in 2004. The achievements of the Cyclone ship have demonstrated that decommissioned warships can make a positive contribution without imposing a significant burden on the national budget. Meanwhile, retired Admiral James Satvridis emphasizes the importance of finding ways to transfer nearly new warships like USS Sioux City to partner navies in need. This move could also strengthen the maritime relations between the Philippines and the United States, which are increasingly forging a closer partnership in response to security challenges in the region. The proximity between the two countries is further evident in plans for joint patrols in the South China Sea as a response to China's escalating activities. The acquisition of USS Sioux City could be a strategic step in supporting the modernization of the Philippine Navy while carefully considering cost efficiency. The Philippine government and its navy are carefully weighing this option to ensure that any steps taken will provide maximum benefits for the national security of the Philippines in the context of regional security uncertainties. The U.S. Navy plans to retire nine of the total 16 Freedom Class LCSs well beyond their planned service lives to save a projected $4.3 billion in upgrades and maintenance. The Philippine Navy is in dire need of more ships to suppress China's military aggression. The Philippine Coast Guard plays a very important role in ensuring its presence in the West Philippine Sea, as it is a legitimate way to enforce its absolute right to patrol the area around the Calayan Island Group following the 2016 Court of Arbitration Award that gave victory to the Philippines. The Philippines for invalidating China's claims in the area, the United States and the Philippines are seeking closer naval ties amid tensions in the region. Amid China's increasing activity in the South China Sea, the Philippine Navy is looking for more ships. Joint patrols in the South China Sea are being planned for later this year. The transfer is intended to support the modernization plan of the armed forces of the Philippines, particularly the Philippine Navy's maritime capabilities. Given the coastal nature of the Philippine archipelago, the vessels will likely perform similar duties to those of the United States Coast Guard, such as maritime interdiction and search and rescue. Is the Philippine Navy interested in acquiring the recently decommissioned littoral combat ship, LCS, USS Sioux City, LCS-11? Maybe this will be a new thing for the Philippine Navy because the littoral combat ship unit is still not owned. I personally think this is a very good step to take in order to acquire a literal combat ship.